Welcome again friends. Welcome to another video tutorial from Shomul's Biology. And in this video lecture, we'll be talking about the difference between plant cells and animal cells. Okay. Though most of you know these differences, but again, I'm going to make an overview of what these differences really are. And you know, uh, you can find so many differences in different sources out there, but I'm going to tell you the major differences that we have in a plant cell in an animal cell. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to draw two structures and that's, that, that structures are going to tell you a lot more about the differences together. So let me draw it. Uh, let's draw up the plant cell. I'll draw plant cell always with a green coloration because it feels like uh, it's plant. So this is this one. This is a cell wall I'm drawing. Okay, this is the plant cell structure, uh, it's quite different. And let me draw the cytoplasm and the nucleus and stuff. This is the nucleus, and chromosome sections, and cytosol. These are the cytosolic contents. And in the cytosol, we also draw some mitochondria. And we also draw some chloroplast. Let's, let's also draw some Golgi apparatus in here. Small like. This is a structure of plant cell in a whole. Okay, I'm going to explain all these things later, but just see the difference in the structure from the first. This is the plant cell. Now, if I draw the animal cell, let's draw this one. Let's draw this one. This format. And inside the nucleus. And I'll draw the Golgi apparatus. Okay. And I'll draw the mitochondria. Let's draw some vacuoles. Draw some lysosomes. These are the cilia that comes out of the cell. And of course, I need to draw the uh, rest of the things are there. I need to draw the centriole. Different color. Let's take blue. Okay. Let's say this is uh, the typical structure of animal cell. So now I've drawn two structures of uh, <coughs> the two types of cells, plant cell and animal cells. Now I'm going to talk about the difference. Now if you look at the cell cells, you'll see the difference from the first place. Now I want to pause the video. I want you to focus and try to find out by looking at the structures what are the differences. But if you, even if not late, I'm going to explain again. The idea is before answering the question of the difference of plant cell and animal cell, what we want to know is that the plant cell are capable for do certain things. They have to do certain things for survivability, while animal cells have to do some other stuff. Plant cells are made in a way so that they can be steady, they can be properly anchored and attached to more of a give a structural role to that plant. There will be some functional role like ascent of sap and then transport of the food or uh, materials throughout the body. But rest is kind of a structural role, it's kind of concrete. While in the other hand, the animal cells are designed in a way so that they can communicate with their nearby cells, so that they can move, they can migrate, communicate, observe things, cell-cell interactions, protein and receptor interactions and all these features should be present in an animal cell. Now, depending upon that, 
we have different featural differences. The first difference we can say that plant cell have cell wall while animals don't have any cell wall. They have cell membrane only. Plant cell have a cell wall, inside there is a cell membrane. Okay. Now another structure if you look, both of them have nucleuses. But the cytosolic component for a plant cell is very small while the eukaryotic cytosol or cytoplasm is pretty much big. This complete thing is cytosol. In plant cells, what is in the middle then? This is vacuole. Most of the volume of plant cells are filled by vacuoles. 90% and over 90% of the cells volume internal volume is occupied by vacuoles. A large vacuole, generally there is a one large vacuole in every plant cells found like that, which is not in case of animal cells. Animal cells require much cytoplasmic content because they need to produce a lot of proteins and interactions and going on inside. And they have vacuoles. These are the plant animal vacuoles. But they, even if they have vacuoles, they have smaller vacuoles like this. Second guy. Third difference that we want to talk about is that plant cells have Golgi bodies, animal cells also have Golgi bodies, but you know there is a network of Golgi endoplasmic reticulum and finally there are some fragment known as the lysosomes. Lysosomes are small organelle which are filled with hydrolyzing enzymes, protein digesting enzymes, fat digesting enzymes are present there. It's a enzyme filled sac spreading across the cell of animal animal cells so these lysosomes can ultimately release those factors it can help the cell to destroy other foreign materials or sometimes when the cell is infected this can also help the cell to kill itself while these lysosomes are not found in plant cells instead those hydrolyzing enzymes and stuff can be found in plant cells inside the vacuole only so whatever thing that you have to dump in, store or any material that you need to put or store it for a long run should be stored in the vacuole. It is the storage unit of a plant cell. Fourth difference. You see that centriole is a specific structure made with microtubules and those centrioles are very very important for the division of cell of animal cells that is found in animal cell which is not found in plant cell. Plant have a different approach for the cell division process. Now, <clears throat> plant cells don't have cilia coming out of them, but animal cells have this, this cilia type of thing out of them. The cilia means, you know, these are the protrusions of the cytosolic components so that they can increase the membrane surface area. Now, this type of ciliated cells are very important for absorption of nutrients. That's why you see the epithelial cells that are present in our intestine they have this the ciliated structures so that they can absorb from different surface area okay which is not found in plant because there is no way they can have this cilia because it is completely surrounded by the cell wall now plant cells are very much strong and their shape is properly maintained throughout of the time even if you put them in dehydrated conditions they don't have kind of rupturing or shrinkage like that they can kind of let's say the plant can be steady or it can be some, some somewhat weak but it's not completely shrinked but in animal cell as is completely depend on the cell membrane they can have problem with dehydration right if we put them in the in some some salt change uh, the, the internal concentration change solution salt change uh, concentration change solution either uh, sometimes they can either burst or they can shrink depending upon the type of tonosity of the solution that we put them in that is not the case of in the plant cell plant can be like flaccid or it can be very really strong depending upon the time. Another difference, plant cells have chloroplast in them because chloroplast contains chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is required for the plant to produce their own food which is completely unique feature for the plants which is not found in animal cells. Animal cells don't have any chloroplast or any source of chlorophyll there. They only have mitochondria as a double membrane organelle here. In this case here they have the chloroplast as a double membrane. No, there are other like nucleus is also double membrane but no, animal cells don't have any chloroplast there. Sometimes they also have some chromogenic uh, 
uh, components like a chromoplast where they have like uh, different carotene, ca carotenoids or all this type of uh, colorigenic compounds present in the plant to give different colorations which is not common in case of animals because in anim animals the pigmentation pattern can be of two different types here in general cases like uh, melanin is uh, doing that but in case of some animals like fishes and birds they have the color uh, substances and stuff but it's not like any chloroplast or something like that they have a different process for that okay another difference i want to talk about is between how the plant cell is communicating with the fellow plant cells if you see here a this is the middle plant cell if we if we imagine other plant cells are surrounding it they have an interaction between the plant cells so they have a small tiny tiny room between the plant wall and membrane through which the cytosol from one plant cell and the components from one plant cell can migrate to the next one this linkage is known as plasmodesmata this is unique for the plant cells animal cells don't have plasmodesmata but animal cells have a different way of interacting with the nearby cells and there are more than one type of interactions between two consecutive plant cells uh, two consecutive animal cells let's say this is this is two consecutive animal cell there are several type of interactions are possible some interactions where two membranes are properly tied known as a tight interactions some regions when they are open and they can transport materials known as desmosomes some region where they are free they are not properly tied or attached known as the known as the open or gap junction so there are tight junctions there are gap junctions there are desmosomes through which they can do the cytosolic streaming between the nearby cells are possible in case of animal cells which is not found in case of plant cells they have only one method that is plasmodesmata okay now if we talk about the difference in sense of cell division i told you that animal cells have centriole which is the microtubule organizing center so the centriole or microtubule organizing center properly organize the chromosomes in the central plate of a cell and those microtubules originated from two ends of the centriole because the centriole is duplicated before the division process then those microtubules originated from the centrioles can attach with each centromere of those chromosomes and then they can drag those chromatids apart from each other this is possible and that's how they can divide the cell so this microtubule organizing center help the cell to be properly the chromosomes to be segregated and the cell to be divided and after that the cytokinesis process takes place cytokinesis means the division of the cytosol and that is due to the process known as furrowing let's say this is a cell this cell struck this is going bigger a furrow start to form that means a cleavage pattern start to form finally they are joined together and two new daughter cells come in this is known as a furrowing let's put arrow here known as a furrowing pressure from terminal ends separate them together but the cytokinesis of plant cell is formed due to the origination of some sort of cytokinesis plate or central plate now the central plate is formed due to the deposition of uh, several structural component material at the middle point of the cell once the cell have two nucleus and separated all these things then the cell then those they, those those materials those depository materials form a septum between uh, the cells and they will form two different cells another thing i want to say you know there are so many differences you can talk about now another major difference i can talk, talk about is in plant cells uh, they can be a storage units and they can store carbohydrates but the plants store carbohydrate in the form of starch while the animal stores carbohydrate in the form of glycogen they store glucose in form of glycogen for the long run like in muscle in liver they store glucose as glycogen while in plant cells they store starch into uh, sometimes in plastids and sometimes in in these vacuoles as starch this glucose as starch so this in a sense is the major differences between an animal cell and a plant cell okay and we also know 
this this is not only the difference about how the cells look like but if you look at the higher organization of a plant and animal you will find so many diversifying so many diversification and differences together but from the cells perspective these are the major differences that we know of now if you look at so so this is the overall thing i don't want to talk about much here so i hope this video helps you if you like this video you definitely subscribe to my channel hit this like button and share this video with your friends thank you very much